okay let's start the lecture so uh, we were discussing helbert species or inner product species okay let's take uh, one more example of inner product space so this is uh, from lemma yeah? lemma is uh, let uh, if we take x equal to c sub 0 0 means uh, it's the second space uh, with only finitely many non-zero entries okay the linear space it is the linear space linear space <coughs> of all scalar sequences of all scalar sequences means the entries of the sequences are scalars okay of all the scalar sequences each of which has each of which has only a finite number of non-zero only a finite number of non-zero entries entries now uh, for x and y in this capital x we define in a product for x and y in capital x let's define this define <coughs> this equals to summation i runs from 1 to infinity x i y i bar conjugate by what's this x x is x i i runs from 1 to its sequence and y is equal to say y i they're both sequences eh? with the entry scalar scalar means they are from scalar field <coughs> so uh, this is a uh, x i y i closure <coughs> okay yeah uh, this sum is always uh, finite because only finite in non zero terms are there Now uh, we see that uh, this function which you had defined from x cross x to k it's actually an inner product okay then then this is an inner product inner inner product on this x so let's first verify this property inner product x with x so let's take any three points okay let's uh, it like this uh, let that x equals to x i i runs from 1 to infinity y equals to y i i runs from 1 to infinity and let's take one more point z i i runs from 1 to infinity let this be in x and alpha be an scalar then we have a first one inner product of x with x that's summation i runs from 1 to infinity x i x i conjugate that's summation i runs from 1 to infinity mod of x i square okay this is always greater or equal to 0 and this is equal to 0 this inner product is equal to 0 if and only if this series is equal to 0 and this is a series of non-negative terms it is equal to 0 if and only if each term is equal to 0 if and only if xi is equal to 0 for all i so that means this is true if and only if the vector x is equal to 0 that is the first property of inner product now what's the second property it should be as symmetric eh? it should be symmetric conjugate okay second second inner product x y is equal to summation i runs from 1 to infinity 
x i y i conjugate and that's equal to that's equal to summation i runs from 1 to infinity it's x i conjugate y i whole conjugate okay and that's equal to summation this summation conjugate is is actually this is a uh, yx uh, you can write it as this summation i runs from 1 to infinity precise it's equal to summation i runs from 1 to infinity it's yi xi conjugate whole conjugate and that's equal to y x conjugate right now third one inner product x plus y with z what's x plus y is can interest okay x i plus y okay so it's summation by definition of inner product it's summation summation x i plus y i the terms of the first sequence that's x i plus y i times the uh, second one that's z i this is equal to summation i runs from 1 to infinity x i z i plus okay right z i conjugate well, right z i conjugate summation i runs from 1 to infinity y i z i conjugate so, so they're fi they are finite thing is because you know only finitely many terms are non-zero the rest of the terms are equal to zero so uh, this is a uh, equal to inner product x z sorry it's not x y it's x z plus inner product y z okay now uh, the fourth property is uh, inner product alpha x y what are the terms of the sequence alpha x they are alpha x i because the terms of x are x i okay so this summation i runs from 1 to infinity alpha x i okay, times y i that's equal to alpha times summation i runs from k okay, it's y i conjugate again this is i runs from 1 to infinity x i y i conjugate that's equal to alpha times inner product x so this is very simple this form is an inner product uh, what's the norm the norm the norm induced by this inner product is norm of x which is obviously equal to square root of this and this you know this is summation i runs from 1 to infinity mod of x i square whole power 1 by so this is actually l2 norm okay so this is uh so that means uh c00 is a subspace of l2 actually because uh, the norm is same as l2 norm so but uh, uh, uh is it complete this c00 it's not complete okay we'll see that uh, later on this is not come this is an inner product but not complete with respect to this norm which is induced by this inner product okay so uh therefore uh therefore this c00 is a subspace is a is a subspace of l2 l2 you know it's a, it's 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 a, it's complete okay complete normal linear space so c00 it's also a normal linear space it's a subspace of l2 l2 is complete but we will see that this c00 it's not it's not closed in l2 because it will be complete hoga agar if it's closed in l2 but we'll see later on that this is not closed in l2 okay that we'll see so this l2 is complete we know that each lp lp for one less equal to p less equal to infinity lp is complete so l2 is also complete ab next time kya dekhi ki hum prove karenge l2 hilbert space uske liye hame prove karna ye hai ke uh, it's it's a normal linear space we have to show that that norm satisfies the parallelogram la agar us norm ne parallelogram la ko satisfy kar diya then uh, then it will be an hilbert space or uh, we directly define the inner product and we'll see that the inner product is the same as the inner product induced by the norm okay, okay. jo norm se induced it wo same hoga yahan par to okay 
हाँ इन दूसरे क्योंकि हमने नॉर्म इनर फोटो से ही डिफाइन किया ना वो है डिफाइन दिस नॉर्म दिस यू नो यह हमने चेक किया पहली स्टेप में फर्स्ट प्रॉपर्टी इट्स समीशन आई रन फ्रॉम वन इन टू एक्स एस केयर ओके फोर पॉवर वन बाई टू और ये नॉर्म है दिस इज अ नॉर्म विच इज इंड्यूस्ड बाय द इनर प्रोडक्ट दिस इज नॉर्म ऑन एक्स ओके ये मैंने पहली uh, हमने डिस्कस किया था द नॉर्म इंड्यूस्ड बाय इनर प्रोडक्ट अगर आप अगर किसी स्पेस पर आपको इनर प्रोडक्ट डिफाइन है हम उस इनर प्रोडक्ट की मदद से नॉर्म को डिफाइन कर सकते हैं तो इनर प्रोडक्ट की प्रॉपर्टीज आपने चेक की इट इज इनर प्रोडक्ट so therefore we can define a norm with uh, with the help of this inner product that we call the norm induced by inner product theek alag alag thing yes ha norm uh, dekhiye norm to aap bahut sare define kar sakte ho na c00 par but this one this one this is the norm which is induced by inner product you can define sup norm on c00 because you can treat it as also a subset of l infinity तो उस केस में आप सुप नॉर्म डिफाइन कर सकते हो बट इन दैट केस दैट मे नॉट बी इंड्यूस्ड बाय दिस इनर प्रोडक्ट मतलब आप बहुत सारी नॉर्म्स को डिफाइन कर सकते हो बट एवरी नॉर्म नीड नॉट बी इंड्यूस्ड बाय द इनर प्रोडक्ट ओके आप आप और भी बहुत सारी नॉर्म्स को डिफाइन कर सकते हो सी जीरो जीरो पर बट ये जो पर्टिकुलर नॉर्म आपने डिफाइन किया दिस इज द नॉर्म इन यूसर वाई दिस इन एट प्रोडक्ट जो आपने ऊपर डिफाइन किया है हाँ ओके सो लेट्स नाउ सी दैट दिस एल टू इट्स एन गुड स्पेस सी दैट एग्जांपल लेट्स टेक दिस एग्जांपल नाउ So let's continue this, okay? Let's continue this. Let's continue this, and and let's uh, let's uh, let's denote by this L two here. Suppose this is H, okay? H, and we will see that this H is Hilbert space, okay? H is a Hilbert space. Oh, uh, for uh, for this, uh, <coughs> so uh, so not uh, let's uh, let's. Right, as same as L two. He have to call it J. Now let's take this H is equal to L two. L two, you know that the sequence is square. Square some able sequence, okay? Square some able. So uh, now uh, we define the uh, inner product on L two. So we we define the same function. We have C zero zero per defined. Okay? For X is equal to X i i runs from one to infinity. Y is equal to y i i runs from one to infinity in L two. Okay, we define inner product x y by summation i runs from one to infinity x i y i closed. So uh, for uh, you must show that this should be finite thing. Okay. इसका जो मॉड होगा ना दैट शुड बी फाइनल थिंग तब जाके ये जो फंक्शन होगी दिस विल बी वेल डिफाइन वी हैव लेट्स चेक दैट वी हैव दिस मॉड ऑफ द इनर प्रोडक्ट एक्स वाई दिस इज मॉड समीशन आई रन फ्रॉम वन टू इनफिनिटी एक्स आई वाई आई क्लूजर ओके एंड दिस वन Uh, this one is lesser equal to summation i runs from one to infinity mod of x i y i closure. Now you can apply. Yeah, uh, I think that's the holder's inequality. You can apply here or uh, something else. Okay. So oh, that equality. That's uh, you have to apply the inequality here. This is equal to summation. I runs from one to infinity mod of x i and mod of y i, so that's lesser equal to that's lesser equal to uh, one by two summation i runs from one to infinity mod of x i square whole uh, this uh, plus uh, one by two summation i runs from one to infinity Why I square? I think uh, is this uh, 
this is uh, some uh, I think holders equality I think uh, this one 1 by P 1 by Q like that product uh, power X Y power 1 by P plus 1 by Q equal to so this is uh, some uh, what's this inequality uh, uh, Minkowski is no uh, that's for sum actually summation uh, uh, that's for summation xi plus yi actually Minkowski's inequality oh, what is this inequality one minute uh, let's uh, uh, for a moment this is uh, this is that uh, oh Uh, this inequality is uh, uh, its holders inequality that is x power p y power q less or equal to 1 by p x power p plus 1 by q x power q 1 by p okay. uh, that is 1 by p x power p ok 1 by p So x y is less than equal to one by p. Is it uh, the right square here? So this should be trivial. This inequality uh, <coughs> should be trivial one. Uh, is it uh, x i plus y i? Then it will be x i power square whole power one by two. Okay. Uh, okay, I think it is holders inequality uh, which states that uh, for a negative non negative numbers we have this x power p y power q is it uh, that one uh, this is x Okay, x power 1 by p x power 1 by p like that uh, x power uh, 1 by p x power p x power p uh, what's holders inequality x uh, uh, that's just x y less or equal to x 1 by p x power p plus 1 by q y power q i think uh, is this uh, or it is 1 by p i remember that is it 1 by p 1 by q like that so uh, let's uh, i think this one x by less or equal to 1 by p x power 1 by p plus 1 by q y power one. its holders with this one huh? Now let's take uh, p equal to 1 by 2, q equal to 1 by 2, then it will be x y less r equal to 1 by 2 x square plus 1 by 2 y square. And let's uh, if we have say x i y i numbers, uh, say y infinite numbers here, then uh, I can apply this. So it will be this, okay. So this is actually holders inequality, you can, you can see. This is holders inequality. Sir, 1 by 2 multiply many. Raise for 1 by 2. Summation i runs for 1 to infinity x i square whole uh, base so for 1 So is it x y less or equal to uh, 1 by p? So p is 1 by 2, then it will be 2 i's. You are right. Huh? Then it will be 2 i's. Then it will be 2 i's. Uh, so uh, uh, do you know this uh, inequality? Uh, uh, what is called that? Uh, this is a uh, hold uh, this. Uh, it's a uh, am gm inequality am gm inequality yes so that's uh, this x y power 1 by 2 is less or equal to x plus y by 2 so arithmetic geometric mean is less or equal to arithmetic mean so it's uh, i think it may be uh, that one x power 1 by 2 y power 1 by 2 is less or equal to 1 by 2 x plus 1 by 2 y 
So, so let's see this inequality. And let's uh, now uh, let's suppose that we have some number C like this. Then you can add, then you can add, then you can add. Now uh, you want square here actually, okay? So you write this x i as uh, this mod of x i is mod of x i square whole power one by two. That it will be the same thing as this x i power one by two. Instead of x i, we have mod of x i square. आपको मेरे पास समझ आ रही है? What I am trying to say? देखिए ये इनक्वालिटी तो ट्रिवल है ना जो आपने एम एस सी वन में शायद की होगी दिस इज एम जी एम इन इक्वालिटी द जोमेट्रिक मीन इट्स ऑलवेज लेस आर इक्वल टू द एरेथमेटिक मीन मैं सिर्फ दो नंबर इसके लिए एक्स और वाई के लिए अब आपके पास से बहुत सारे नंबर्स है तो हर नंबर टेक एन इट पियर पियर अपना हर किसी पियर के लिए ये इनक्वालिटी होल्ड है यू कैन एड Because you are dealing with the non-negative number, so you can add these things and you will get a summation. I runs from one to infinity. This will be summation. I runs from one to infinity. Here it will be summation. I runs from one to infinity. Now, uh, if uh, this x i is positive, okay. So, uh, so uh, x i is positive. What can I do then? So I have this actually then. Okay. You can easily talk now. It is, it is very simple. So it's not actually hold. It is a E M G M inequality. Simple. That's why he has. It's not actually Young's inequality. Young's inequality. Okay, I don't remember that exactly. It's it may be Young's inequality. Yeah, it may be Young's inequality. So uh, that's why I think he has not mentioned this inequality. It's actually trivial. Eh? It 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 is this inequality. It's this inequality. X y power one by two. Okay, power of is less or equal to one by two x plus one by two. Why? Now, uh, suppose if x is positive, then I can. Uh, this is x square, okay? X square power one by two. And instead of x, if we I have x square, y square power one by two. So this will be less than equal to one by two x square plus one by two y square. Okay. So that means if x and y are positive, then x y is always less than equal to. X y is always less than equal to one half x square plus one half y square for x y greater than equal to zero. <coughs> so this is it. So now you can add these things. Okay. So here, for our pass mod, hai. so this is always a non-negative number. Now, ab ye apko samajh aa gaya? Ye kahan se aa gayi ye inequality? Okay, so uh, since uh, this sequence is in L two, so that which is square summable, summable that means this will be finite thing, and this second it will be also finite thing. So this is less than infinity. Okay, it's a finite thing here. So this is finite. So uh, that means uh, that means that so therefore we have this therefore this. Is a function from x cross x to the scalar field k. Okay, it's a finite thing. Every time this output is a finite thing. It's a, I cannot say finite, but the mod is finite, so that means the output it always lies in the scalar field, whether it's complex or a real. Now uh, uh, we have to check the other properties uh, of this inner product. So for this, I choose three points. So let's choose three points in this space x, y, z belongs to H. So x means the x i, y means the sequence y i, z means the sequence z i, and alpha in the scalar field k. Then uh, you can verify this uh, x x. It's simple. It's summation i runs from one to infinity mod of x i square. It's actually x i x i conjugate. So this is always greater or equal to zero, and it's equal to zero. So this is very simple. Equal to zero if and only if x is equal to zero. That you can easily verify. And the second property, it's uh, x plus y z. You can easily verify. Just now, it's me. C zero zero me. Kya hai? It's the same thing here. Okay. And you can check this property also. This is y x conjugate, symmetric conjugate, and you can see this last last property. They are very simple. Okay, 
can easily do these things. So now, what's the norm induced by this? <coughs> now, the norm, the norm on H induced by this inner product is norm X. It's equal to summation. It's a, by definition, it's a square root of inner product. Square root of inner product. And that you know it's summation i runs from 1 to infinity mod of x i square whole power over by 2 and you know that with respect to this norm it's complete and and we know that h is complete h is complete with respect to the norm different above with respect to the above norm with respect to the above norm this you know okay we know that h is complete with respect to the above norm so therefore it's also this norm is inducer of inner product if the norm inducer by inner product if the space is complete with respect to the norm inducer by inner product then we say that that space is hilbert space and thus thus h is a hilbert space hilbert space देखिए दो तरीके इसको प्रूव करने के लिए एक तो ये है कि आपके पास अगर कोई बना स्पेस है अगर आपको चेक करना है क्या वो हिलबोर्ड स्पेस है या नहीं है तो आप चेक करो कि अगर वो पर्लोग्राम ना सेटिस्फाई कर रहा है ठीक है ये वो एक तरीका है मतलब आपको पता है कि L2 जो है इट्स ए बनाक स्पेस है यू नो दिस एल इज ए बनाक स्पेस तो इसको हेलबोर्ड प्रूव करने के लिए आपको पर्लोग्राम ला वेरीफाई करना है या अगर आप ये ना करोगे आप डायरेक्टली कोई इनर प्रोडक्ट डिफाइन करोगे और उस इनर प्रोडक्ट से जो नॉर्म होगा वो अगर सेम होगा जो ऑलरेडी एल टू पर नॉर्म है तो उससे भी आपका काम हो जाएगा कि उससे भी आ, वो जो वो जो वो जो नॉर्म होगा एल टू पर वो पारोलोग्राम लॉ सेटिसफाई करेगा बिकॉज एवरी इनर प्रोडक्ट सेटिसफाई द पारोलोग्राम लॉ या तो आप चेक करो या तो आप डायरेक्टली इनर प्रोडक्ट को ही डिफाइन करो और फिर प्रूव करोगे इनर प्रोडक्ट से जो नॉर्म इंड्यूस होगा वो वही होगा जो L2 पर नॉर्म ऑलरेडी है जिसके जिसके रेस्पेक्ट में वो L2 जो है बनाक स्पेस या जो स्पेस जो है वो बनाक स्पेस है तो वहाँ से भी आ जाएगा इट्स सिल्वर स्पेस या अगर आप डायरेक्टली इस बनाक स्पेस पर चेक करोगे पैरोलोग्राम ला अगर इसने पैरोलोग्राम ला को वेरीफाई सेटिसफाई कर दिया देन इट विल बी अनाक देन इट विल बी अलगोर स्पेस तो तो so, दोनों ठीक uh, है बट आई थिंक दिस पैरोलोग्राम ला इट मे बी लिट टीडियस क्योंकि आपने ऑलरेडी चेक किया ये हिलबर्ट्स ये बनाक स्पेस है अब डायरेक्टली अगर आप इनर प्रोडक्ट को ही डिफाइन करोगे सो so, फिर उससे जो नॉर्म इंड्यूस होगा वो सेम होगा वही जो एल टू का नॉर्म है सो दैट्स दैट्स इजियर देन दैट क्योंकि जो आपके पास तो जो पैरोलोग्राम ला है ना उसमें आप इनर प्रोडक्ट की इनर प्रोडक्ट की प्रॉपर्टीज को यूज करते हो अप्लाइंग दोज प्रॉपर्टीज ओके सो नव वही जो मैंने पहले बताया था आपको ये जो सी जीरो जीरो है इट्स नॉट हिलबोर्ड स्पीस इट्स नॉट हिलबोर्ड स्पीस हो नेक्स्ट वी शो दैट नेक्स्ट Let's let's try it first. This clearly, clearly, this clearly this C zero zero space is not H. Okay, it's not L two or H L two because L two is consisting of all square summable sequences and C zero zero may be square summable sequences because it's only just finite non zero terms. They are obviously square summable. They are any P summable sequences. So in particular, they are square summable. तो इसका हर कोई मेंबर तो इसमें है ही बट L2 का हर कोई मेंबर इसमें नहीं है क्योंकि L2 में कोई स्वीकेंस ऐसी है जिसमें हर कोई टर्म नॉन जीरो है बट दैट स्वीकेंसिटी लाइन L2 कोई एग्जांपल है आपके पास L2 की कोई ऐसी टर्म है जो C00 में नहीं है एनी एग्जांपल एग्जाम्पल लेट सी दिस एग्जाम्पल लेट सी दिस स्वीकेंस वन बाई टू वन बाई थ्री सो वन So this we can say it's not in C zero zero. Obviously, it's not in C zero zero 
because uh, every term of this sequence is non zero okay but uh, you will see that this sequence lies in l2 because if i if i if i take this if i take the square then add the things So it's like this summation one by n square and it's it's a convergent thing. This is this converts okay n runs from one to infinity. So that means this we can it is in L2 but not in C00. So uh, this C00 it's not L2, it's not it's not L2. It's not L2 space. And we'll see that this uh, we uh, we uh, we show that we show that C00 closure is equal to H. That means so that means this C00 closure is not equal to C00. Yes, C00 is not equal to C00. So, what is this? C00 is not a closed subset of L2. L2 is a Hilbert space, L2 is a complete space. So, that means C00 is not a Hilbert space, it's not complete. Because if you have a complete complete space, or why is it subspace? So y to be complete hoga if and only if i is closed. Ye, ye, this x should be complete, okay? Ye complete. First it should be complete. Here L2 is complete, okay? So agar aapke paas koi complete space hai, iska koi subspace hai, agar aapko prove karna whether that's complete or not, to uske liye aapko check karna ki whether that's closed or not. Agar wo closed nahi hai, then it should not be a complete space. So yahan par aap check karoge C00 closure jo hai, it's equal to H. It's, so it means that it's not equal to C00 because C00 properly contained in H. It's not equal to H. So let's let's verify this. It's a C00 closure is equal to this C00 closure is equal to uh, this H. Okay. Let's let's check this. So uh, I will I will show that uh, if if I choose if I choose any member of L2, I I can find a solution in C00 which converges to that point of L2 in this L2 norm. So uh, let's choose any point. Let's choose any point. Let let let's take this x equal to x n n runs from one to infinity or x i i runs from belongs to L two. Now let's define the sequence. Define define this. Define y one is equal to x one. The rest of the terms are zero. Okay, this is. Uh, Obviously, it is in C00 because it is only one term non zero, others are zero. Then let's uh, take the one more term of C00, one more uh, element of C0, which is x1, x2, and the rest of the terms are zero. So obviously, this also lies in C00. In general, let's define yn, which is x1, x2, xn, and the rest of the terms are zero. This is again in C00. So that means this is a sequence in C00. Okay. So it's actually sequence of sequences, huh? like uh, because uh, L infinity or L2, whether any any LP, it's a sequence of sequences. Iski har, iski, iski, iska har koi element ek sequence hai. To aap iske elements ki ab sequence liye rahe. Matlab agar aap isme koi sequence choose karoge, ye re LP me. So let's take this sequence. It's in L. This means that x1 bhi LP mein hai, x2 bhi LP. Because this is the same thing, right? X1 bhi LP mein hai, x2 bhi. This I'm explaining to you. I'm not explaining anything with this exercise. If you take a sequence from LP, what does it mean? X1 bhi LP mein hai, x2 bhi. So what does LP mean? What is it? LP mein kya hai? LP mein khud sequence hai, right? This means that x1 bhi khud ek sequence hai, x2 bhi khud ek sequence, which is LP mein hai. So it's here. Y1 bhi also ek sequence hai, C00. Y2 bhi ek sequence hai, which is in C00. Y n itself is sequence. So this y is y i. So then, then, then y n n runs from one to infinity is a sequence. Is a is a is a sequence uh, in. So this is a sequence uh, in L in, in C zero zero because because its the first entry is. वो किस में है वो C00 में है इट्स मी या हाउ डू आई राइट इट सो इफ आई राइट एनी सीक्वेंस इन सो x नो आई एम नॉट करेक्ट हियर सो x1 इट्स नॉट द नोटेशन फॉर दिस 
so if I choose a sequence of sequences from L sequence of sequences okay so if I choose x n and runs from 1 to infinity where each x i belongs to where each x n it is itself a sequence okay each x n this is a sequence uh, such that uh, such that each term of this sequence y n it is in c 0 0 okay so uh, we show that this sequence it uh, converges to x which is in l2 okay now uh, in l2 now okay so let now uh, let's uh, let's start with this since summation mod of x n square and runs from 1 to infinity this is a finite thing this is a finite thing so so what can we do this is a finite thing uh, then uh, then for each epsilon positive then for all epsilon positive there exist n such that such that summation n runs from n plus 1 to infinity of x n is less than epsilon okay so this means that norm of norm of uh, y n norm of y n minus uh, x is less than epsilon for all n greater than capital n you can easily verify this now this l2 norm so that means y n converges to x and hence uh, and hence this x it belongs to c0 closure this is in c0 closure so <coughs> thus uh, thus c00 is dense in l2 and therefore therefore c00 is not hillboard space is not is not hillboard space it's properly contained in that space okay so ajam